A new Harvard study links eating red meat with the risk of developing type 2 diabetes. Something to think about now before you plan dinner for the day. Replacing red meat with plant-based protein may lower your risk of diabetes. Aisha's at the first alert. Safety desk to tell us about a new study. Good morning, Tammy. It's from the Harvard School of Public Health. The study found that people who eat mostly red meat could have a 62% higher risk of developing type 2 diabetes than those who eat less. And there's a new study out there that's talking about how eating too much red meat is strongly associated with developing type 2 diabetes. Correct. Keyword associated with because this study did not show cause and effect. There's new research linking red meat consumption to an increased risk of type 2 diabetes. NPR's Allison Aubrey reports that participants in the study who consume the most meat, meaning more than one serving per day, were at higher risk. Researchers tracked the eating habits of more than 200,000 people enrolled in long-term health studies for up to 36 years. They found people who consumed a lot of red meat, more than a serving per day, had a significantly higher risk of developing type 2 diabetes. Hello. G'day. I'm here to do your two-yearly food frequency questionnaire. Yeah. Okay, first question. Have you eaten any red meat over the last two years? I'm pretty busy, so every day I tend to have a double quarter pounder combo meal uh, for late lunch. I see, and quarter pounders are red meat, right? Yeah. I see. Okay, thought so. I should say, even though I do supersize the meal, I always remember to get Diet Coke. That's okay, we don't need to record anything about french fries or soda or anything like that. Don't you worry yourself. Okay, question number two. Have you had anything besides those burgers? Yeah, we'll sometimes have a couple of pizzas for a late dinner. Meat pizza, was it? Yeah. Yes, yes, all that meat is bound to be making you sick. Um, last question. Do you have diabetes? Yeah, I do have type 2 diabetes. My HbA1c was 10.3 last time I checked. Thought so? Oh, yes. Oh, no. Okay. Imagine how much better you'd been doing if you just replaced the red meat in those burgers with a plant-based alternative. I've been carnivorous since 2020. I eat mostly beef, salt, water, fat. Lots of fat, um, and I don't have diabetes. Hi, I'm Karen. I am 68 years old. I've been carnivore for about 19 months, and I do not have diabetes. My name is Justin. Two years ago, I was pre-diabetic with an A1C in the low sixes and a fasting blood sugar in the 120s. Two plus years on carnivore, and my fasting blood sugar is now in the low 90s, and my A1C is 5.5. Oh, and by the way, carnivore also reversed my fatty liver disease and eliminated my arthritis. Uh, my name's Mark. Back in September of 2022, I was diagnosed with pre-diabetes and my A1C was 49. Um, I've been a carnivore since then, since uh, September, so it's about 15 months. Uh, now, every day I eat meat, normally ruminant meat with the associated fat um, and I don't really much like chicken really I, I like a bit of pork and lamb stuff like that it's all good um, I only eat associated sort of like animal products uh, maybe a bit of cream maybe a bit of cheese now I'm no longer pre-diabetic and I think it you know and this time because I've been checking my blood glucose with finger prick checks um, it comes out at a calculation of an A1C of 22. So that's absolutely fantastic. I just smile every time I stick a pin in my finger. Hi, my name is Carrie. I'm 57 years old. I have been on the proper human diet spectrum, starting low carb in 2015, down to carnivore in December of last year. So that will make it a year since I've been carnivore. I started the proper human diet 
journey because I wanted to avoid developing type 2 diabetes like my mother had. And since I had had gestational diabetes when I was pregnant, I knew that I was more at risk to develop it. And I'm happy to say that I am not diabetic. My fasting insulin is 3.8. My fasting glucose is generally somewhere around 78 to 88. Um, my A1C is 5.3. I'm healthy, energetic. I'm loving life. So I just wanted to help spread the word that Meat, red meat, does not cause diabetes. Hi there. My name is Ken. I'm from Southern California. I am a carnivore. I've been at it for two and a half years straight. All I eat every day is red meat, ruminant beef, some pork, and bacon. And the only thing I drink is water. And I have been doing that way of eating for two and a half years straight. And not only is my health outstanding, uh, I do not have diabetes. I'm Amberly. I'm 52. I've been carnivore now for 35 months. I eat meat, eggs and dairy. And as you can see, I don't have diabetes. Hello, my name is Rick. I'm 55 years old and I've eaten at least one pound of red meat daily for 40 years. And guess what? I don't have diabetes. Oh, and I haven't had a heart attack yet either. So take that, Harvard. And Hi, everybody. My name is Sean Sinet, and I have been eating fatty red meat and bacon and heavy cream and lots of butter and cooking in beef tallow and butter for two plus years now. Uh, and I don't have diabetes. Also, I took off 30 pounds and I kept it off. So, meet on. My name is Ben. I'm 60 years old. I started keto, meat heavy, in January of 2021, at which time my A1C was 6.2. Eight months later, when I rechecked, my A1C was down to 5.4. Since then, I have restricted even further to carnivore. And on last checking, my A1C was 4.9. Red meat does not cause diabetes. Hello, Aiko Fujita from Okinawa, Japan. 2010, I was a diabetic. I cried out to God and then I found keto. And in 2019, I could get off all my meds and I lost 25 kilograms. Meat does not cause diabetes. In fact, it's the opposite. Thank you. Hey, guys. It's Ron from RD Carnivore. Shout out to Dave Mack and all the good he does at the No Carb Life. Dave's asked us to talk about diabetes or the lack thereof. Been carnivore for 10 months, going on 11. And all of the pre-diabetes signs and symptoms that I've carted around for the last five to 10 years, they're all gone. I don't have diabetes. I also don't have 75 pounds of extra weight, which leads to diabetes. So again, Dave, thanks for everything you do. Have a great day, guys. I'm type one diabetic. About a year ago, I switched to a low carb carnivore diet. And by only eating red meat, my A1C went down to a healthy 5.2. My blood glucose values are now in range 99% of the time. Based on 15 years of patient experience, I can assure you this would not have been possible on a high carb, low fat diet. Anecdotal evidence, N of 1, yes, but so much more useful than poorly executed population research. Hi, my name is Andrea. And in March of 2021, I went on clean keto to improve my health and lose weight. Within a few months, I had reversed my prediabetes and high blood pressure and was taken off all my medicine. Since then, I have lost 115 pounds eating mostly red meat, bacon, and eggs, and I remain non-diabetic. I'm John, I'm 57 years old. Before eating carnivore, I was pre-diabetic. 
Now that I've been eating carnivore for more than seven months, primarily triple B and E, which is beef, bacon, butter, and eggs, I am no longer pre-diabetic, and I haven't felt this good since my 20s. Hey, my name is Barb. Uh, nine and a half months ago, I was about 58 pounds heavier and had a home test blood sugar of 7.9 mmol. I hadn't been diagnosed clinically with diabetes, uh, but everyone in my family has diabetes and I had all the signs and symptoms for years and never really checked often. Um, anyway, up in Canada, I was never told my A1C. I've been eating carnivore ketovore for about nine and a half months. I eat every day meat, eggs, fish, and small amounts of dairy. I'm no longer starving to death. I feel great and have stopped dieting. I'm 100% sure I was pre-diabetic. Today, my home blood sugar reading was 4.8 mmol. Cheers. Hi, everyone. I'm four months in on my carnivore lifestyle experience. I'm down 13 kilos. Didn't start with any health issues, just um, a 65-year-old woman, you young, and uh, wanted to lose some weight. Uh, I'm not diabetic, and um, my health has never been better. I feel 52, actually. Hello there, my name is Dustin, and I was pre-diabetic, uh, a lot of joint and muscle pain, and I uh, weighed 235 pounds back around 2018 or so, and I've been carnivore since then. I weigh around 175 now, with uh, by far the most muscle I've ever had in my life. Uh, no joint pain, no muscle pain, my pre-diabetes completely reversed, so no sign of that. And doing better than I did whenever I was in my early 20s. Now I'm 34 going into 35, and no complaints. My name is Catherine. In August of 2022, I had an A1C of 12.9. I switched to a keto diet and in January of this year, I was off all diabetes medication. Since then, I have been carnivore, eating mostly red meat with some pork, eggs and fish. I recently got my blood test back and my A1C is now 5.1 and my diabetes is in remission. Hi, my name is Dave. I'm known as Carnivore Werewolf on YouTube. I have been eating a red meat and eggs diet on the carnivore diet for 15 months. I reversed my health conditions, and most importantly, I have not developed diabetes. Hi, I am Fabiana, 51 years old and from Brazil. I've been diagnosed with type 2 diabetes 18 years ago. My A1C was above 9 because they don't measure or didn't at that time above it. I've been on a carnivore diet since the beginning of this year, so for 10 or 11 months, I've been able to lose weight and build muscles despite my age, menopause, and my blood sugar levels are normal now. Very happy with it. Thank you. Hello, I'm 74 years old, 78 kilos. And in my 78th week of eating carnivore, as in beef, eggs, butter, and a few other bits and pieces like that. No carbohydrates whatsoever, except what you might count in uh, milk. I do not have dementia, or diabetes, or clogged arteries, or scurvy. No, we don't have scurvy. Hi, my name is Sandra McDonnell. I come from Western Australia. I've been eating a carnivore diet for just under a year, um, hoping to manage chronic inflammation. I have no diabetes, nor have I ever been pre-diabetic, and I only eat red meat, drink water, and use salt. I'm Cassandra, and I've been diabetic for over 10 years. About a year ago, my A1C was almost 8. After 30 days of eating carnivore, my A1C was down to 6.3, which is no longer in the diabetic range. And I've been carnivore for about um, two months now. And I eat all kinds of meat, mostly beef, 
butter and salt and drink plain water. Hi, I'm G. Three years ago, I was pre-diabetic. Since then, I've eaten meat, eggs and dairy, and now I'm no longer pre-diabetic. I was 304 pounds when I started carnivore. My A1C was like say 12.9. And I just went to the doctor here recently and it was 5.0. The doctor made a point to call me. She called me and told me it was 5.0. Yeah, it's 304 pounds. I'm down. I just weighed myself this morning. I was 215 and I no longer take any medication now. Hello there. I'm Marion. I'm a 57 year old woman. 18 months ago, my A1C was 13%. I was very diabetic to the point where my organs were being damaged. Um, for the past eight months, I've eaten pretty much just red meat, um, i.e. beef and lamb uh, with some eggs and butter, water, and a little bit of coffee. And my current A1C is 5.7. My diabetes is in remission because I ate a lot of red meat. I eat red meat and I don't have diabetes.